The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Go on, Cowboy Hustle. Hello, is this Grant McDonald? Yep. Hey, um, I'm, my name's Matt, and I'm from a ch YouTube channel called The Chillers, and we wanted to know if you would just answer a few questions, kind of like a mini interview. Sure. Okay. So, um, we've been, uh, fans of your music for, like, a long time now. I'd say about, like, 2015. And I wanted to know, like, how long have you been doing music for? Well, I, <clears throat> excuse me, just doing some, uh, you know, THC right now here in Canada, the legal dude. So I'm, I got my vape pen going. Okay, 2000, 2012, 2012, I released Ram Ranch. Right. You know, before that was basically Best Friend Jake, Lonesome Boy in Tennessee, and Cadillac Riding Cowboy. And as I've told you, Techie Boys from Discord and Twitch, you know, like, uh, I sent it down to Nashville, and they wouldn't play, you know, Best Friend Jake. We used to go swimming in the lake, you know. And that's, oh, bu that's that. bullshit. That's bullshit. I, I know. They say, oh, that's two guys. We can't play that. And then I put out Lonesome Boy in Tennessee to reflect that. Here's this poor gay guy who goes down to fucking Nashville trying to, you know, break out and nobody will listen to his fucking music. And you know the red and white, you know, cycle of the bicycle. That's ash. So anyway, so here's Lonesome Boy in Tennessee. So then I said, and check this one out. They won't play the music, but they'll take a donation to their church. Right? Yeah. So, fuck, I decided, okay, my, my third song was, was Cadillac Riding Cowboy. Gulfstream Jet on the Runway, because this is where we want to go. Previs and tractor trailers in tow. And I basically told Nashville where to go. I took out a piece of paper and a pen and started writing 80 naked cowboys <laughs> in the showers at Ram Ranch. Dude, that, that's fucking <laughs> awesome, man. Like, you know, it's like a good way to get back at those assholes. Like, You're fucking right, dude. Fucking right, 18 naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch. What the fuck? I know this is going to be kind of a hard question, but, like, who would you say inspired you? Like, what artist inspired you to make Rodin. music? Rodin. Rodin from Paris. The Museum Rodin. Like, La Poncier. I've been to Paris many times to the Museum Rodin. And Rodin, a fellow scorpion, like Picasso. So Rodin did the Statue of the Thinker, which was... Monte is a collection of literature, which is a masterpiece, the Inferno, the Divine Comedy. So here's Rodin in Paris, he sculpts the, 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 the gates of hell. He was doing it in bronze for a cathedral. And then they, you know, so anyway, he did the statue of the thinker, which was centered over the top of the doorway, right in the center. And a whole lot of bronze sculptures from Dante and stuff like that, you know. So Rodin, and of course, Lord of the Rings man, J.R.R. Tolkien, when he wrote The Hobbit, The Hobbit depicted a journey and going after your goals. You know, like, you know, I've got lots of books out there with the Getty Reserve, they like put together in New York. Yeah. And it starts off, the yeah, the train clicks along in the darkness. Mm -hmm. So... About the Getty uh, Reserve deal, um, what happened with that? Because I know you've made a lot of songs about that, and I've listened to a few well, of them. Was, hey, I, be, I, I became a multi-millionaire in real estate in Toronto with, with the guy that I lived with. He was like a billionaire architect. He built the two Bloomer West building, that Young and Bloomer, on top of the subway that goes north and south and east and west. A brilliant architect, like a 38-story office tower he built. And he built, you know, buildings in London, England, and he took me to Berlin and Paris, and, you know, we have $2 million condo and keeps in Florida, a couple of multi-million dollar mansions, and I got a resort to my dad where he quit drinking. So I, and I had my own shop, like a Calvin Klein shop, you know, millions and millions of dollars. But I became bored and wanted to do something creative, like Rodin did and Picasso did, you know, so I left Toronto and went to Hollywood, and went to UCLA and, you know. You just made it. You know, I put this big oil deal. Yeah, I put this big oil deal together in New York, the Getty Reserve deal for the Getty Empire. And I brought in the first bit from Dennis and Mines. In fact, who yeah. made the Wall Street Journal. My Harvard undergrad attorney presents the bill. And they give me a center finger like David Spade. Yeah. Like, oh, and you are, you know, like, oh. Wait, but whatever, what's your first name? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Matt. 
not, you know, the fact is ultimately it reflects as inheritors who are a-holes are in the world, you know, but no fucking respect for people who do work for you. I mean, along comes like Bill Gates and, and Paul Allen, which we have Paul Allen is the McDonald's passed away not so long ago cancer. But, you know, the Wright brothers and people who do wonderful things in the world. And here are these fucking inheritors who, you know, so I got my first song out of it, Matt, a billion bucks. Earned to get is a yeah. billion bucks the way they treat me. It really, really sucks. sucks. And four. So, yeah, it was my first song, Matt. So, you know, hey, it opened the door for me in music. And ironically, Martin Gitty is a composer, just a great copy, everything, you know. So that's the irony. And I've been to Buckinghamshire in England. I delivered my fucking bill right into the castle, the state in Buckinghamshire, uh, in London, England, to, you know, Sir John Paul Getty II, to his fucking castle door, and right into Gordon Getty's mansion in San Francisco, I did go right in. There was a guy walking in front of me. Here I guess in my suit, on this sort of shoes and shirt and tie, and I had my document in my fucking hand going up Broadway in San Francisco, approaching Gordon Getty's fucking mansion, and the guy walking in front of me, who was Oriental, so he walks right up into Gordon Getty's fucking doorway, which was open. I guess they were doing some work in the mansion. Damn. I walk in the fucking, yeah, I walk in the mansion door, and uh, the guy turns around in the foyer and says to the butler, he's not with me. <laughs> so fuck. <laughs> and guess who, guess who that was? It was <laughs> Bully Moore, the fuck. It was Bully Moore, Gordon Getty's butler. And he knew who I was. I said, oh, you must be bullying her. And he said, oh, Mr. McDonald. You know, I had a document. That's you know. great. Oh, yes, you know, That's fucking you're cool. You're fucking right. And, yeah, yeah. and, and uh, I said, the, yeah, I said, the bully bar says, is it possible to uh, speak with Mr. Getty? And just, oh, I think you have to have an appointment months and months in advance. You know, what a prick, you know. Yeah. And I said, well, I got my bill. I got my legal documents here. Could you please see that he gets it? And through the foyer, I could see the Golden Gate Bridge through the windows. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to LA. I've been up and down in the big circles. Water Polo Boy is one of my favorite songs because it, it was based on UCLA campus pool by the palm trees, just the only but feet from Sunset Boulevard, you know, the west gates of Bel Air. Man. Water Polo Boy. And of late, Liverpool Fuckboys. Liverpool Fuckboys has come out as one of my favorite fucking songs that I can put on, put on repeat, and as it goes around, it impresses me. Now, and then those three... Yeah, okay, you've made ahead. You've made music for so long, and you have, like, how many songs? Like, over, like, a few thousand, right? 1,500. 1,500, damn. Now... How do you have time to, like, mix all of these and, like, you know, just make all the beats hey, for all hey, of them? Hey, listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen to this one, Matt. As we speak, I'm recording 262, and <laughs> over the past hour and a half, I've been shuffling my fucking chords around, trying to get a specific, you know, note formulation, like, beyond tool. So I've been shuffling the, like, the lead guitar, bringing this in and doing all the mixing as if I'm scoring a move. Yeah. And, and I've got the background stuff down, the moans and groans, and they're oinking down. <laughs> oinking and oinking and oinking? Yeah, and I've already started the fucking song, man. It's, you know, they go, what do I see landing? The cock ship, the fuck ship, the starship, the alpha one. They're all fucking landing right now, man. Fuck. <laughs> all, all on the range at Ram Ranch. Oh, you're fucking right. I think it's in Halifax right now. Oh, Halifax <laughs> Frat Jacks. Fucking right, dude. Dalhousie's in the house. St. <laughs> Mary's and fucking Brock. Hey, listen, I did 260 or whatever, you know, just for, for Brock University guys, you know. Fuck, can you imagine? Fuck. <laughs> and here, the fucking military, the soldier boys, the fucking Edmonton Garrison, the Edmonton Garrison, can you fucking imagine the Army boys in Alberta wanted into the song? Like, I have U.S. Marines, I got the Army boys, I got... The, Fucking Harrier Jets, Harrier Craft Carrier. I hate to go like on a. I got an air. Hey, listen, listen to that one. I got an aircraft carrier off the coast of Malibu. <laughs> 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 now, I hate to make it to be kind of a downer, but like, how many Ram Ranches do you think you're gonna make? Hey, listen, we don't even know if the fucking world is gonna fucking end, Matt. So, hey, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going until I, I, I stop bringing happiness. My fans love these things, man. Please, sir, feed me more cum. Please, sir. 
<laughs> yeah, Sean, you're making me cry. You're with another guy. Yeah, exactly, dude. Like, I just smoked with Sean, and he's in Halifax. Fuck, you know. So I, at least he's not with Adela anymore. <laughs> that was too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and that was big black cog, this big twelve inch cog fucking a fucking a fucking that Sean bouncing up and down, up and down, up and down. Oinkin and oinkin and oinkin. Deep deep deep. Come a flow. <laughs> Come a flow and fuck. So yo so you know, it's just fun, you know, like uh, that Carl guy in London, England, you take the headphones out to you. It's just strange people on the sidewalk and say, Could you listen to this new song that just came out, you know? Oh I and saw that. I've seen out. that. <laughs> I know, that's Carl in fucking London, England. Like, and then all of a sudden, you know, shut you, you're our home, or, or no, no, it, it, oh, please, uh, feed me more, Carl, please. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're listening to, that's what we're listening to. I mean, I think each Ram Ranch is a classic in and of itself, but like... Well, you know that seven, you know, Ram Ranch is under lockdown, under... Ford Raptor yeah, trucks. US Marines. And the Raptor trucks, you know, the Xbox, you know, the US Marines looking, looking for Prince Harry, for fuck's sake. <laughs> looking for Prince Harry. Okay. That's the whole funny thing. I have one question well, about that. 85, and, and Matt, Matt, 85. Oh, it's so good. But, okay, one thing that I just remembered, Prince Harry stepped down. Is that... Okay, is he still going to be Prince hey, he's Harry? He's still Harry. Or he's still fucking Harry. He's still Harry. He's not like the royal, royal. Of, I have a, royal I have a theory that he stepped down to be uh, Ram, at Ram Ranch full time. Is that true? I fucking right. I'm, I'm for sure, dude. Absolutely, man. He is the main fuckboy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, would you like to sample our uh, wares? <laughs> <You're scary. laughs> Yo, like, imagine if the queen saw that. <laughs> uh, that's that'd be great. Hey, I'm getting the facts. I'm getting the message right now from Sean. Hey, but listen, Matt, you know I, I appreciate my fucking Discord techie boys and all you guys out there that are having fun with the music, man. Yeah. So, you just fucking know that, you know, like from the Discord techie boys and yeah. Asian Andy and fucking, you know, Ice Poseidon. Ice Thank you, Greg. Okay, listen. Hey, thanks for calling, Matt. I love my fans out there, the Discord techie boys, Twitch all across the board. You guys rock and rule the universe. And beyond. And beyond that. <laughs> so, you have a great day, dude. Thanks, man. I, I hope... I hope... Uh, maybe. Okay. And I hope we'll, we could be in a future Ram Ranch, you know, pretty soon. But, like, you know what? Anything, man. I, uh, just thanks for taking your time. Hey, for sure, Matt. Particularly during this period, man. We could maybe have some fun with, uh, you know, the Ohio fretwood. Okay, hey, thanks for calling, Matt. You rock and roll the universe. Best to you. Be smart, be safe, and I uh, love my fans out there. You guys rock and rule. All the best to you, dude. All right, see ya. Thanks for calling. Love you guys.